for you to begin our buddy. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Today, for our first mile of 2024, we are running for a fallen sergeant who lost his life in the line of duty back in 2023. Today, I'm running for fallen sergeant Philip Dale Nix. He worked with the Greensboro Police Department in North Carolina and is on a watch on December 30th of 2023. He lost his life after he was shot and killed while attempting to intervene with a crime that he witnessed at a gas station. He was 50 years old at the time of his passing, serving 23 years of service with the Greensboro Police Department and was assigned to the Family Victims Unit. He leaves behind a wife, children, and parents. Tonight I'm running with the Blue Line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. Instead, we're going to be joined by the Winter Springs Police Department, the Summit County Sheriff's Office, and we have a fire truck unit from the Winter Springs District of the Summit County Sheriff's Office. Um, we're going to do a quick prayer before the run starts, and then we're going to be on our way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zechariah running the first of two miles that we are conducting this evening. Morgan doing the second mile tonight from New Jersey. This first mile, however, being done in honor of fallen Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. He served with the Greensboro Police Department in North Carolina, tragically losing his life December 30th, 2023. He lost his life after he was shot and killed while attempting to intervene in a crime that he was witnessing at a gas station. He was 50 years old, having served an incredible 23 years of service as a member of the Greensboro Police Department, was assigned to the Family Victims Unit, sadly leaves behind a living family that includes wife, children, and parents. Zachariah completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile to honor the life of fallen Sergeant Philip Dale Nix here today. We're always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside our youth runners. And tonight, helping to pay tribute to fallen Greensboro Sergeant Philip Dale Nix, we have multiple members of our home city agency, the Winter Springs Police Department, our home county agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, our home county fire department, the Seminole County Fire Department, and running and walking with Zachariah tonight, Zachariah's little sister, Chloe. We also also have other members of the community here tonight as well to help pay tribute to this fallen hero. Again, we're here tonight running to honor a 23-year veteran of the Greensboro Police Department, 50-year-old Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. Tragically, on December 30, 2023, lost his life after he was shot and killed while attempting to intervene in a crime in progress that was happening at a gas station. As Zechariah completes this lap, he'll be completing the second of seven laps tonight, which again is one mile tonight to pay tribute to the first hero that we're running for in 2024, Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. For every mile completed by our youth runners, they carry a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor tonight, Zechariah, carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to a family of fallen Sergeant Philip Nix, along with the note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. And if you'd like information on how you could be a part of this mission, you can visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later tonight with details on how you can be a part of the Running for Heroes mission. As Zechariah concludes lap number three and begins lap number four, I'm going to go silent. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect tonight on the life of this hero. 50-year-old Sergeant Philip Dale Nix of the Greensboro Police Department. We offer up our heartfelt prayers to his family, including his wife, his children, and his parents. 
everybody with the Greensboro Police Department and those assigned to the Family Victims Unit and our hope and prayers that this run honors him well and we thank him for his 23 years of service for his community.
Zephyrine, any final words tonight for the family of fallen Sergeant Philip Dale Nix? First and foremost to the entire family and community of Sergeant Philip Nix, his wife, children, parents, and all of the members of the community he became friends with during his 23 years of service to the Greensboro Police Department. We hope and pray all of you heal very soon through this loss. Um, even though he passed away in 2023, this is our first mile of 2024, and um, I sure hope these stories we don't have to run for that much um, ever again. He passed away after being shot and killed while attempting to intervene at a a crime, which was a, which was a theft um, that he witnessed at a gas station. Um, it's weird because the incident itself had nothing to do with guns or anything um, that would require shooting. And it's just so unfortunate that we have to run here today only because a sergeant uh, decided to continue to protect his community while, by the way, he was off duty and put himself on duty, which he didn't have to do in the first place. Um, he was an incredible man. We hope this run continues to support his legacy, that he was a brave and he was a brave hero who sacrificed a lot for the community of Greensboro. Um, if you are part of the family, I'll be sending this blind flag very soon along with a handwritten note. We hope this just flag and note can just help a little bit more through your comfort and healing. Um, I would hate to have to lose a family member right after Christmas unexpectedly. So our prayers got to all of you. Um, at this time, I'll be not joining us in a 21 second moment of silence. Following that will be a prayer. This will honor Sergeant Nix and his legacy. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight we did a one mile run in honor of a fallen sergeant who lost his life in line of duty out of Greensboro, North Carolina. God, I know I've personally been there multiple times and this community is definitely going through a hard time through the loss of this fallen sergeant. God, I pray you guide them to this run so they can find comfort and support and any other event supporting Sergeant Nick through this loss because I cannot imagine this, the sorrow they're going through coming into this new year without Sergeant Nix by their side. God, I pray you watch over all first responders across the country and hopes this year can be a lesser year for miles than it has been in the past few years for first responders past going to line duty. Just here I pray, amen. amen. Um, thank you so much for joining us in this one mile run. Um, I do want to thank um, the fire department here in Seminole County and all of the police who came out here to support this hero. Um, hopefully, even though this happened in 2023, hopefully this year, in 2024, hopefully this year can be a lot less than than, than last year. Um, we believe a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight, and I pray God blesses you all. Well.